Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you? How are you today? Well, actually, today we are going to have our classes in YouTube just for today because uh, today we don't have classes by Google Meet. So with this video, you are going to have the class of today. So if you remember last time we were we were working on the student's book. So last activity that we were making, it was, let me show it to you. Give me a second. Find a brand. Okay, this is not the one. Just give me a second. We were working on the student's book, so I need to show you the student's book. Maybe this is the one. Not really. Not really. Not really. Okay. Okay, as you can see, this is the page that we were, we were working on. If you remember, we were uh, filling those blank space here. So, just in order to make a short review about it. Okay, if you can see in your book here, we place the number 13 and here two, and here we place the number 23. So. The journey duration of Jason was 13 years, two months, and 23 days, right? Also, you will have here 26 years, you will have here 40 years, and here five. Fight, the number five, we are just country, continent, continents fight. Then we, we are going to have countries. Countries will be 37. So we, we were working on this. You already have it done. And also, we have this part. On this part, we place the number 505. If you remember that, that was the last activity. Also, we were, we were working on this with the help of your research book. So we decided that the first then he was selling across the Atlantic Ocean was the number three, sorry, the number four, when he saw a whale. So as you can see, it, it is in your resources book. You can go and you have to match the images there. So at first, the first it was, he was selling across the Atlantic Ocean when he saw a whale. So remember that we work on that. Um, uh, I uh, believe that we almost finished this. So, but just in order to give it to you, I'm gonna explain. Then we had the second. The second, the second one was he was skating across America. So, once we were talking with you, we decided that the the best ocean was when he was hit by a car, right? So that was number two. So number two with number six. Then we had a number three. Number three what is he was walking. He was walking across the Sahara Desert. He was working across the Sahara Desert. And it, it was with the number three. When he met a movie star. When he met a movie star. So number three with number three, then we had a number four. He was canoeing near Australia, and we decided that that one must go with the first. When a crocodile chase him, when a crocodile chase him, that was number four. Number four with sentence number one on the, on the right part. Then we're gonna go with the number five. Number five says he was sailing across the Pacific Ocean. He was sailing across the Pacific Ocean, and it is the fight when sharks attack his boat. When sharks attack his boat, and the last is the number six. He was cycling over the Rocky Mountains when he got sick. He was cycling over the Rocky Mountains 
when he got six. So once you have this finish, you had to, you know, to take to match the images that you had in your resources book, and you had to like paste the 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 the, the first of them with the one that match with that according to this, according to to what we have done. And then we have here match and make silly sentences. Draw a picture in your notebook. Draw a picture in your neck. So what do we have to do there? Okay, okay. So as you can see, it says match and make silly sentences. Draw a picture in your notebook. So, and this is what we're going to do. Okay. As you can see, there at the beginning on this, we had like a subject. We can say that my neighbors, my dog, teacher, me, my friends, our class. So we are going to take one of them and then we are we are going to decide if that goes with was or were. So just an, as an example, my neighbors, we have to use was or were. What do you believe? Just try to think before. Okay, so let me tell you, my neighbors, it is like too many people. So it means that we are going to use were. Okay, so my neighbors, were what they were doing we had to decide it they were baking a cake or they were skating in the park what about if they were watching a movie or playing basketball uh eating ice cream walking to school so it means that you have to create a sentence for each of them using it uh you know just one uh bird to be one of them for each and also you, here we only had when and then one and one of this so you had to write it on your notebook and also to make it like a to draw a picture about it so if you decided to make like a, my neighbors were baking a cake when a pop star appeared so what are you going to do there yes it means that you are going to draw some people like a baking a cake and and once a pop star what is a pop star a pop star is like a singer like a famous singer so it's me and when they appear so look at they were baking the cake and a pop star appear so in that way you must do it you must like keep draw a picture of the of every sentence that you are making with that okay so that that is the the finish of the page 26 so remember that we are like uh, we 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 need to move quickly on this one because we are kind of having well we do not have enough time because then our our festival is coming and we had to work on that as well so we had to move here as you can see here we had the lion estuary what's that i'm gonna read it to you at first then we are going to hear the listening of this part and then you have to cre create your own opinion about it on friday i'm gonna ask it to you the the story says on a warm night in August, just before dawn, I look out my window and I guess what I saw. A bit far away on the sun asleep on the lawn. It was so succeeded. It let out a big yawn. How do you think the story ends? So there you had to create your own story. What do you believe that it could happen? maybe the lion get into the house or what about if the lion just uh, run away because he was scared of the man well maybe the lion does not run away maybe the lion is start running and he was like asking for food like a rah, rah. 
and and what well, maybe the person who saw it on the window two hours and food for him so you have to create your own uh, end of this story but let me play it to you just in order you to hear it give me a second there we go track 18 listen and discuss a lion story on a warm night in august just before dawn i looked out my window and guess what i saw a big furry lion sound asleep on the lawn it was so exhausted it let out a big yawn okay. how do you think this story ends okay so i'm gonna also on um, this coming friday ask you the finish of this story because as we can see here we didn't have like an ending part we're going to have it okay so and that is that part now what do we need we need like to create that story so let's try to do it pause the video and create create your own story so this is the time you to pause the beer okay but now we are going to continue look at here what do we have here so we had to work one more time with the resources book we had to take the stickers in order to place it here but in order to do that we need a uh, another listening so i'm gonna play it to you just in order you to find out what is the what are you going to paint here paint here what are you going to place here so as you can see here we had an ending part of the story number one we had an ending part of the story number two and also an ending part of the story number three so let's go and and, and listen that new track. Let's go. Track 19. Listen, place, and glue. Ending 1. I called the zookeeper. He caught the lion and hauled it back to the zoo. The poor lion bawled. <laughs> Ending 2. I called the cops. They chased the lion and it got mad, so it mauled a cop with its claws. Ending 3 I went outside and made friends with the lion. I shook its paw. Then it taught me how to roar. ROAR! okay got it so what are we going to paste here let me show it to you i have it here so let's see what do we have to place there let me show you the, the part maybe it's this one if i'm not wrong yeah so look at it here if you remember the first at uh, the ending we have here the three endings bar so which is the first then what about the one that has the lion and the yale is this one the, the ending first or is this one according to the listening you have to uh, place that stickers on your student's book in order to identify the endings stories okay so first then, then the second and the third, and on Friday we are going to check it one more time, okay? Now let's continue with the book. Let's go with the book one more time. Is this one is fine not run? Oh, no, it's not, give me a second. Okay. Great. As you can see here, we had that. 
Okay. So we, on Friday, we are going to check our end is if we have a correct. Then we have here the last part on the, of the page 27. It says, complete the words with a U or a W and numbers the ending. So if you remember this, we had to place some letters there. At first, I went outside and made friends with the liar. I she could spoke, then it touched me how to roar. What does it like it sounds for you? It sounds like a like a, the ending a story of like one ended the story, right? Look at the second one. I called the silk keeper. He caught the lion and hauled it back to the zoo. The poor lion bawled in me. That is another ending story. And then we had a church. And then I called the cop. They chased the lion and it got mad. So it mauled a cat with its clothes. So as you can see, there we had the Zane's Andrews. And according to, to the stickers that we had here, and this is places, we are going to place some numbers here. What number is this? One number, what number is this one? And also what number is this one? And it's, it must go according to this, okay? So pause the video and do it. Do it. So there we go. So as you can see there, you only had to place the the stickers there, and also then you had to identify the numbers there. Okay, so we are going to go. We go kind of quickly. Okay, so let's continue with the next page. If you had any doubt, let just try to to restart the video and make it one more time. So just let me tell you here, you are going to place the the, the letters A and W. Here, the letters A and U. Here, the letters A and U. Here, A and U. A and U, and at the end, A and W. A and W, the last. So if you had any doubt, just restart the video and you are going to see what is the letters that you had to place here? That's not a problem with a recorded video. But now, just look at what do, what do we have here? We had here a study. Do you remember the first part? As you can see, it says episode two. So it means that we had one. So this is the, like the second episode of this. We had some kids like a big art exporters. So let's go and read it. We are going to place like the audio in order to read it, okay? So let's pay close attention because then we are going to have some question below this. Look at here, we have to work on this later. So we have to pay close attention to this. Okay, so let me see why this does not jerk. Okay. Well, actually this is not working. So let us read it. It says Jack stood up and the wine nearly blew him over. He was sailing in the middle of the ocean as far as the horizon. He could see nothing but water. Waves races across the shining sea. It was beautiful. Then he turned it around and couldn't believe his eyes. He saw a huge sail hanging from a tall mast. Men were sitting on either side, rowing with long oars. He was standing on a wooden ship, a begin launcher. He remembered it from the history classes, but what was going on? Where was the river? 
and the old brick wall. And what was Emily? Suddenly, the sheet broke to the one side and Jack lost his balance. And Jack lost his balance, his balance. He crashes into one of the old men sitting on a bench. Sorry, say Jack. Be careful, Olaf, the man safe. Who's Olaf? Tough Jack. If you look at, at the man, he had a shiny metal helmet, just like this, as, as, like his. Then Jack heard a loud voice behind him. Olaf, what are you doing, boy? Jack turned and saw a man with a flaming red hair and a red beard at the front of the ship. You better watch out, added handed again, said the arts man. Come over here immediately and help me control the ship, should have added. Jack didn't like being chatted at, but he obeyed it. The ship was rocking up and down and, fr and from side to side, so it was difficult to keep his balance. Jack threw her while he was walking toward the bad-tempered Captain Eric, a beginning captain named Eric, with red hair and a bad temper. There was only one answer. It was Eric the Wreck. So as you can see, that is the first part. Now we have to work on these questions. At first, as I told you, you had you can uh, pause the video in order to answer those questions. And if you had any doubt, go back and listen it again. Okay. At first, why couldn't Jack delete his eyes? What do you believe? Answer that. Why couldn't Jack believe his eyes? What about that he was in the sea, he was in the ocean, or maybe the, that he was on a beginning lunch, that he was on a beginning lunch. Try to answer that question with this, he was on a beginning lunch, okay? Then number two, how did he know he was on a beginning lunch? How did he know it? How he realized that he was on the beginning lunch, that he was like a boat in one day. So how he realized that? So uh, this is like a, you have to do, to think how he knew that those were bikins. So how he learned it. Cómo aprendió que esas personas eran vikingos, cómo él sabía que eran vikingos, o sea, obviamente por lo que tenían, pero qué es, qué era la clave para que él sabiera eso. Recuerden una parte de la historia. There is a part that says, eh, let me see here. He remembered it from his history classes. So what we are going to place there is he remembered it from school. So he learned it that those kind of people are beacons. So you had to press, he remembered it from school. Okay. Then we have question number four. And it, sorry, question number three. And it says, why was it difficult for Jack to get his balance? Okay. Why it was totally difficult for him to, you know, to like to be in, a, in a, the same place without moving without rocking back to back, down and up. It, and as you can see, because the sheet was rocking. Rocking is R-O-C-K-I-N-G. Rocking, the sheet was rocking. And what does it mean? What does it mean? What does that something is rocking? Rocking is that it goes from right to left, down and up. So it means like uh, perdiendo el balance, va, chocando, desbalanceado. Something that, like that. O sea, que estaba balanceándose de lado a lado. Is the, the sheet was walking. So, uh, the answer, the number three, why was it difficult for Jack to keep his balance? Because the sheet was walking just in that way. And then we have the number four. Number four says, why did he think 
the captain was Eric the Rack. So look at Jack was like uh, trying to to realize, trying to know why he was named on that way, Eric the Rack. What was uh, why they placed that name for that Vikings? So if you remember, there is a part that says that he has a red beard and also red hair and also he's like uh, has a bad temper so like uh, he is totally angry so in that case what we are going to place here just pay close attention this is the answer for number four he had red hair and bad temper he had he had red hair and bad temper okay so those are the answers for those questions. If you had another answer, you can share it with us and we are going to discuss it. So it, it must be on this way, but if you can write it in another way, that is not a problem, okay? So with this, we finish the this these four questions, but as you can see, the, the story continues here. This is the part T of episode two. So let's go and read it. I'm gonna read it to you one more time. Okay, but if you are not, you didn't finish the last part, just post the video or go back in the video and answer those questions. Once you have it finished, come back here. We are going to continue with you, okay? Okay, so episode two, part two, it says, Jack, or Olaf, as they call him, was walking toward the captain when he saw a dark shape in the ocean. It was moving quickly in the direction. It was like a huge shadow, but it wasn't the shadow of the ship. Jack For a moment, it was a monster. Then a column of water shot into the air and a gigantic head and back broke the surface. It was a whale. The way dived back beneath the ocean and make a huge wave. What out? shouted Helm. Hold on, on, the, on to the mass. The way hit the ship and sent Eric the wreck flying. Jack ran over him to him. Eddie was falling overboard when Jack jumped and grabbed the captain's clothes just in time. Jack held one with all his strength. Then other sailors came to rescue and help pull Eric back to on board. Eric looked at Jack. You are a hero, he said. Then he stood up and lifted Jack onto his shoulders. The crew shirt. Jack looked at the sheet at the ocean in the brilliant blue sky, and then and then he heard a voice in his ear. Jack, Jack. It was the girl voice. Are you okay? Jack opened his eye and smiled. I'm fine, Emily. I feel great, honest. I seen. I think we should go home, she said. You were right. The metal detector is silly. It isn't silly, say yet. Sitting up, it's amazing. There are hundreds of things we can find. Come on, let's explore the riverbank. And with that, that waved Emily. And with that, Jack waved Emily hands put the viking helmet on her head and they ran to the river. Okay, if you want to hear it or if you want to listen one more time, just go back. You can do it. Remember, this is a video and you can do it. But now look at here. Here we had another, another activity. Here we have to work on this look at here it says write sentences about the text so it must be related to the text that i had uh, 
that I had read it for you before. So if you want to read it again, do it by yourself. But if you want to hear it, just play the video one more time. But what do we have to do here is like uh, to make sentences with those words. So at first, what is the main character? Jack. So we are going to place Jack here. Then in order to, you know, to connect those words with Jack, we need the verb to be. And for remember that this is past, we had was and were. So it means that we can use was or were in order to connect those sentences. So Jack, I'm gonna create the first dent for you. Then you're going to work on the next one. On Friday, we are going to check it and we are going to see how did you do it, okay? So let me create you the first of them for you. So at the beginning, we are going to place Jack, Jack, Jack. You are going to place Jack here. Then was the verb to be per, a third person, was washing, was washing. Remember, here we had to add the ing form, the ing form, okay? Jack was washing the way when it dived underwater. Here we had to place the letter D on this word in order to make it in the past form. Okay, so in that way it must go like a Jack was washing the whale when it dived underwater. Okay, so that is what we are going to do on this. So you had to finish those sentences and we are going to check it on friday that is what you had to do on this class and let me see also i really need you to start working on your practice book so in that case i need at first at first of that i need you to please work on page I'm gonna show it to you. Just give me a second. Let me see, this is not the one. I'm gonna show it to you, the one that I want just you to work on that, okay? Let me see, if I'm not wrong. Okay, I really need you to work on this, okay? You have to answer those questions on your practice book we are going to check it on Friday as well. So this is the homework that you had to do according to the story that we had here. We had to circle what is the correct, circle the correct word. Jad stood up and, and what was? So you had to circle the ones that we had correct, okay? So that is the, the homework that we had for next Friday, I need you to do this and we're going to check it and we are going also to, to identify what do we have good and also if we had something that is not correct, we are going to fix it together. So just in order you to practice, then next Friday, I'm gonna assign you some material in order you to work on your practice books online so you had to everybody let me know if so if a person has a problem with his account in Richmond let me know please because we are going to start working on that in order to you know to have more practices okay so uh, on Friday, I'm going to assign you some pages in order you to work on the practice books online, okay? So that was all. If you had any doubt, go back to the video and try to, to watch it again. Also try to repeat every word that I'm pronouncing. And also if you had any doubt, write it down and let me know on Friday, okay? So have a good day and I really hope you to have learned something. And if you don't, we are going to repeat, we're going to like uh, make a feedback on this on Friday, okay? Bye-bye, have a good afternoon and also enjoy your classes. See you on Friday, guys, bye-bye.